Hi students, good morning. Welcome to grade 11 business mathematics class. So, now we are learning our second chapter algebra. So, our last class I explained type 2. Is it right? In partial fraction. That is denominator contained. That is repeated linear factors. So, first type we have learned in previous class. That is denominator contained non-repeated linear factors so i already explained this third type denominator contains quadratic factor which cannot be factorized into linear factors i explained you already i hope you have um, some idea in this okay so let's start directly to the question from the problem i will explain you okay so the last example is example 2.7 The question is resolve into partial fractions two x plus one divided by x x square plus one into x minus one. Okay. This is a question. So solution. First, what will you do means, you listen here in this question, this x square plus 1 is there, I am right. This x square plus 1, you can't factorize it as a linear factor. Is there any chance to factor into a linear factor? No, is it right? If it is x square minus 1, you will factorize. Otherwise, x plus 1, the whole square, we will factorize into 2, is it right? But here, it's, there is no way to factorize as a linear factor. So, for that, how will you split means? 2x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 into x square plus 1 is equal to a by x minus 1 plus yesterday I said that is bx plus c divided by x square plus 1. Like this we need to split. Understand this is a only difference. So in the last type what will you do? That is non-repeated means a by b by like that you will write. Uh, repeated means also a by b by c by but finally we will equate the powers and we will find the value is it right but here first itself there is a change if the denominator cannot be factorized into linear factors since it is a quadratic is it right x square plus 1 means it is a quadratic equation but we can't factorize it into linear factors that means what we do we will write as bx plus c okay so in denominator which denominator it can't cannot be factorized into linear factors that particular numerator you need to write as bx plus c understand that's the thing okay so now we can do so same as previous problem multiplying both sides by x minus 1 and x square plus 1 multiply 2x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 into x square plus 1 into x minus 1 into x square plus 1 is equal to a by x minus 1 into x minus 1 into x square plus 1 into then plus bx plus c into x square plus 1 into x minus 1 into x square plus 1 okay so, what are the terms will get cancelled? x minus 1, x minus 1, x square plus 1, x square plus 1. Same as x minus 1, x minus 1. Here, x square plus 1, x square plus 1. Okay. So, balance, we are going to write it now. Okay. What's the balance here now? 2x plus 1 is equal to a into x square plus 1 plus bx plus c into x minus 1. Take it as equation number 2. Remaining everything same. How we will uh, make any one of the thing as 0. Same procedure you need to use. So here one thing is if I am substituting 1 what will happen? This whole term will become 0. Yes. So we can put, put x is equal to 1. So 2 into 1 plus 1 is equal to a into 1 square plus 1 plus b into 1 plus c into 1 minus 1. Okay. So, here 2 into 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. a into 1 plus 1 is 2. Correct. 
this one one into one minus one is zero so this whole term will become zero so this alone you will get that is 2a equal to 3 so a equal to 3 by 2 okay ma so is there any other way to make anything as zero no so we can put any of the value i'm putting put x is equal to zero and we will form a linear equation and we will solve okay so put x is equal to zero into so what will happen 2 into 0 plus 1 is equal to a into 0 square plus 1 plus b into 0 plus c into 0 minus 1. So what will happen? 2 into 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. Is equal to a into 0 square plus 1 means 1 plus b into 0 is 0. S plus c into minus 1. You'll get. Correct? So what will you get? a minus c equal to 1. Now you can substitute this value here. What's the value you can substitute here? Substitute a is equal to 3 by 2. Substitute here what will happen? 3 by 2 minus c is equal to 1. Uh, now minus c is equal to 1. Bring this to here. Minus 3 by 2. So minus c is equal to 2 minus 3 by 2. So how much will get? Minus c equal to minus 1 by 2. This term and this term will get cancelled. So, C equal to 1 by 2. Understand? Now, you need only one value. What's the only one value you need? We need B value value. For that, you can equate the powers and we will find. Okay? So, last class I explained. This is right. How we will equate the power. Let us recall that. So, I am writing the equation number 2 again here. So, what's the equation number 2? 2x plus 1 is equal to a into x square plus 1 plus b x plus c into x minus 1. So, we can do the rough work here. So, 2x plus 1 is equal to a x square plus a plus we need to multiply each and every term with this. Okay. So, b x square minus b x plus c x minus c okay now you can equate the x square term shall we equate the x square term equating x square term if you are equating x square term what will happen this side 0 that side a plus b okay so what is the a value already you know substitute a is equal to 3 by 2 substitute here 3 by 2 plus b so, B is equal to minus 3 by 2. So, this is a value for B. Now, you can substitute all the values. That is, A is equal to 3 by 2. B is equal to minus 3 by 2. C is equal to 1 by 2. In equation number 1. Substitute in equation number 1. Ma, what will happen? 2x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 into x square plus 1 is equal to 3 by 2 into x minus 1 is then plus dx plus c is a plus. So 3 by 2 into x plus c value 1 by 2 divided by x square plus 1. If you need you can simplify that is equal to 3 by 2 into x minus 1 plus numerator the LCM is 2. So what will happen minus 3x plus 1 divided by x square plus 1. So, in the next step, it will come down. So, 3 by 2 into x minus 1 minus, is it right? Minus 3x. So, this will become minus divided by 2 into x square plus 1. This is the answer. Listen here, children. If you are, don't know to simplify, please leave it here itself. Okay. So, uh, when you are uh, simplifying this one, you will put a mistake. How much? Here it is plus, is it right? So, if I am taking the minus here, this will change as minus. So, you will confuse and you will put a mistake here. So, to avoid the mistake, if you don't know to simplify, you can leave it from here onwards. Understand, students? That's all. So, now you are all thorough in the three types. Okay. So, one more problem we will do in this same type. Okay. And then only you will get some idea. Okay. So, remaining, I hope you all completed your homework and all. Okay. So, let's move to the exercise questions okay exercise first problem second problem i gave homework for you then third problem fifth problem ninth problem fourth problem everything we have did completed is yes. so there something is remaining we will complete it now okay 
so in exercise 2.1 up to problem number 5 you have completed in homework so let's start from 6th problem exercise 2.1 problem number 6 6th question is resolve into partial fraction question is 2x square minus 5x minus 7 divided by x minus 2 the whole cube what is this question whether which type it belongs to which type you get an idea which type just to think it denominator contain repeat a linear factor is it right so x minus 2 the whole cube okay it's not square square means 2 times is it right it is cube so when you are splitting how will you write means solution 2x square minus 5x minus 7 divided by x minus 2 the whole cube is equal to a by x minus 2 then b by 1 square term whole square then cube term understand children so what I did so if it is 2 times repeated means in example we have completed so here it is repeated that is x minus 2 the whole cube means x minus 2 3 times is it right so 3 factors so x minus 2, x minus 2 the whole square, x minus 2 the whole cube. Rewinding everything as well, you know, is it right? So multiplying both sides by x minus 2 the whole cube. So what will happen? 2x square minus 5x minus 7 divided by x minus 2 the whole cube into x minus 2 the whole cube is equal to a by x minus 2 into x minus 2 the whole cube plus b by x minus 2 the whole square into x minus 2 the whole cube then plus c by x minus 2 the whole cube into x minus 2 the whole cube so this and this will get cancelled here it will become square this will go then this and this term will go correct so what is the balance here you will obtain that is 2x square minus 5x minus 7 is equal to a into x minus 2 the whole square plus b into x minus 2 plus c. Take it as equation number 2. This is 1. So which value if you substitute means I will get the value like that you need to think. Okay. If I am substituting for x is equal to 2, this 2 terms will become 0. So put x is equal to 2. That is 2 into 2 square minus 5 into 2 minus 7 is equal to a into 2 minus 2 the whole square plus b into 2 minus 2 plus c okay so what will happen 4 is it right 4 into 2 is 8 8 minus 10 minus 7 is equal to this will become 0 this will become 0 so c alone balance so minus 17 plus 8 so how much we get 9 is it right c is equal to minus 9 so is there any other idea to find out any A, B, C or anything? No, is it right? We can't find. So better you can equate the powers, then only it will be easy for you. Okay, so I'm writing equation number 2 again and I'm going to equate the powers and we will find the remaining two values. Okay, so I'm writing equation number 2 here. 2x square minus 5x. Minus 7 is equal to a into x minus 2 the whole square plus b into x minus 2 plus c. Now 2x square minus 5x minus 7 is equal to a into x square minus 4x plus 4 plus b into x minus 2 plus c. Multiply inside 2x square minus 5x minus 7 is equal to a x square minus 4 a x plus 4 a then plus b x minus 2 b plus c okay so you can equate the powers and we will find the values okay shall we equate x square term x square term if you are equating means directly you will get the value how here a alone is there is it right a is equal to 2 yes so directly we can get the answer so equating x square term so directly you will get the answer is it right a is equal to 2 okay next we can equate 
Next, we need to find the C, uh, B value. Is it right? If you need B value, conformally, you need to equate the constant term, otherwise, X term. Okay. So, I am going to equate in constant term. Equate the constant term. Here, what is the constant term? Minus 7 is equal to. Here, what are the constant term? 4A. Is it right? 4A minus 2B plus C. Okay. Correct. Now you can substitute all the known values. Already you know A value. Already you know C value. Shall we substitute here? Minus 7. That is A is equal to 2. C equal to minus 9. We are going to substitute it here. So 4 into 2 minus 2B minus 9. So minus 7 is equal to A minus 2B minus 9. So what will happen? Minus 7 is equal to minus 2b minus 1. bring this to here minus 7 plus 1 okay that's equal to minus 2b so minus 6 is equal to minus 2b so this term and this term will get cancelled so 2b equal to 6 which symbolizes b is equal to 6 by 2 so b equal to how much b equal to 3 got it now you got all the values shall we substitute their equation number 1 implies 2x square minus 5x minus 7 divided by x minus 2 the whole cube is equal to what's the a value 2 by x minus 2 plus b value 3 is it right 3 by x minus 2 the whole square what's the c value minus 9 by x minus 2 the whole cube this is the required answer have you got it children i hope you got idea yes so, if it is cube times means we will split as 3. That is A by B by C. Got it? Okay. So, some more questions are there. So, that also we will complete. Okay. Let's move to the problem number 7. X square minus 6x plus 2 divided by X square into X plus 2. So, here also whether it is repeated or not repeated. Repeated is it right? This x square x square means two times is repeating is it right? So how will you write solution? X square minus six x plus two divided by x square into x plus two is equal to a by a by x plus b by x square then last one plus c by x plus two. Understand? So, it's uh, here it is a repeating term. Okay. So, because of that, A by X, the next one is B by X square. The next one is C by X plus 2. Okay. Now, what do you do? Multiply both sides by X square into X plus 2. Multiply both sides by X square into X plus 2. What will happen? x square minus 6x plus 2 divided by x square into x plus 2 into x square into x plus 2 equal to a by x into x square into x plus 2 plus b by x square into x square x square into x plus 2. Then plus c by x plus 2 into x square into x plus 2. So what are the terms will get cancelled here? This and this, this and this. x and 1 x it will go x square x square term x plus 2 x plus 2. So what are the balance? x square minus 6 x plus 2 is equal to a into x into x plus 2. Correct? Then plus b into x plus 2 plus c x square take it as equation number 3 first this one is equation number 1 this is equation number 2 so finally you need to make anything as a 0 for that if you are putting minus 2 that will, will get the answer C Romans also you will get the answer. So for that put x is equal to minus 2. Into substitute minus 2 the whole square minus 6 into minus 2 
plus 2 is equal to a into minus 2 into minus 2 plus 2 plus b into minus 2 plus 2 plus c into minus 2 the whole square. So this term fully it will become 0, this term fully it will become 0. Minus 2 the whole square means 4 minus into minus plus 12 plus 2 is equal to this one will become 4c. Okay. So 4c is equal to 16 plus 2 means 18. Yes, 4c is equal to 18 by 4. C equal to 18 by 4. Cancelling time 9 by 2. So c equal to now you got the answer as 9 by 2. Now put x is equal to 0 into substitute and say 0 square minus 6 into 0 plus 2 is equal to a into 0 into 0 plus 2 plus b into 0 plus 2 plus c into 0 square. So this term and this term will become 0. Yes. So here 2 alone b into 2. So how much will get 2b equal to 2. So b equal to 1. Now you got the answer for b. Now you can equate anything of the powers. Let us take equation number 2 here. That is x square minus 6x plus 2 is equal to a into x into x plus 2 plus b into x plus 2 plus c x square. Equate the powers if you are doing directly it will be very easy for you. Yes. So here one x square term is there. So one you will get is it right. So a into this one x square one term will get. So a. If you need same as that previously I thought no same as that you can do step by step. I am doing directly. So here on x square term here there is no x square term plus c. So we can equate. X square term. So what will happen? 1 is equal to a plus c. Is it right? So 1 is equal to a plus 9 by 2. So you can bring the 9 by 2 this side. Okay. So what will happen? 1 minus 9 by 2 is equal to c. So 2 minus 9 by 2 is equal to c. So c is equal to minus 7 by 2. Now you got all the values. What is A value? 9 by 2. Sorry. What is A value? A value? Sorry. This is A. Correct? Okay. A equal to minus 7 by 2. B is equal to 1. C equal to 9 by 2. Substitute in equation number 1. So 1 implies x square minus 6x plus 2 divided by x square into x plus 2 is equal to minus 7 by 2 divided by x then plus 1 by x square c value plus 9 by 2 divided by x plus 2 okay so what will happen minus 7 by 2 into x plus 1 by x square plus 9 2 into x plus 2 this is a required answer got it so this are now you are already uh, good uh, you got a good idea in this section yes uh, so remaining problems i will start and give you need to come okay so i think problem number 7 over so problem number 8 so problem number 8 is a homework for you today so today's homework is exercise 2.1 problem number 8. Which type that one? See, that's which type? That is uh, x square minus 3 divided by x plus 2 into x square plus 1. So that is type 3. Okay. Type 3. You need to do. Then see problem number uh, 10. Which type that one? Problem number 10. That's also type 3. Okay, so problem number 8 and 10 is your homework for you. Have you got it, students? So, I think uh, in exercise, totally 10 problems are there. Uh, 8 problems, totally. For 3 days, see, for 8 problems, I gave us home assignments for you. Same as example problems. I hope you all completed. This one also you will complete. I am uh, thinking. 
So this uh, two problems are somewhat different from the example. That is problem number six and seven. Because of that, I did for you. Okay, students. Okay. So please take down your class works. Uh, put the heading type three. Then one example problem I taught you today. That one you copy down. Afterwards, in exercise six and seven, the problem I taught you now. That one you take it. After completing that one. You do this to home assignments. Understand students? So this section over. So 2.1 over. I hope you have uh, uh, you all understand. If you have any doubt you can ask me. I will clear your doubt. So in the next class we will start our next section. That is a new section. Till now you not heard the word even maybe permutation. Okay. So we will start uh, the new chapter. That is new section in our next class. What do you mean by permutation? That is somewhat uh, uh, different so it will be very easy and it will be very interesting for you so let's start our new session in the next class students so before that you complete uh, this class works fully uh, class works homeworks everything you complete it and be ready for studying the next section 2.2 permutation okay students um, be safe we'll meet in the next class thank you